There's a new bill that's been proposed in Iraq, and it's an absolute nightmare. Let me, let me give you the details here. Under the proposal, women can't leave the house without their husband's permission. Wow, so they're going right to Sharia and copying Saudi Arabia. Also, women have no rights in matters of parental custody after divorce. It would totally be up to the man what he wants to do with the kids, how he wants to divvy it up. Also, it, make, it makes it easier for men to take multiple wives, so it legalizes polygamy, but just for men, not for women. Uh, a husband can have sex with his wife regardless of her consent. So it legalizes spousal rape. A bill legalizes spousal rape. Isn't that incredible? Like, whoa! How are you, are you looking at the same calendar I'm looking at? It's 2014, you just proposed that? Seriously? I mean, that's some old school 1500 shit. That's really crazy shit. And then e even worse than that, I know you're saying, well, how could it be worse than that? Listen, also as part of this bill, they want to lower the marriage age to eight years and eight months old. That's the equivalent of nine years old, uh, according to the Islamic calendar. So they want old, nasty, creepy fucking men to be able to marry and have sex with eight-year-old girls. Oh! That's sick, man. That's sick, that's sick, that's sick. There's a reason why civilized countries have drawn the line roughly in the same area between, like, 16 or maybe even 15, the earliest, and, like, 18 for the legal age. Because at that point, that's when human beings sexually develop. And that's when they have the, oh, they figure it out. Oh, all right, that's what sex is. I get it. I see how it works. I've developed at this point, and I understand the reasons behind it. Oh, I, okay, I understand how it works now. I'm My mind it has developed to that point. I've physiologically and biologically reached the point where I can legally consent. Before that, they don't know anything. They don't know about it. They're not biologically at that point yet. It's a, one of the worst crimes you could do. Have sex with a young kid? They want to legalize that. God, man. And again, the story we just did, there was a majority of people in the U.S. say, yeah, you need to believe in God to be moral. Really? The belief in God in Iraq is about 99%. This is morality? Please, man. And a whole other aspect to this is, well, it's obviously a good thing we invaded Iraq and brought them democracy. You know, it's a strange thing that goes on in Iraq right now, and a strange thing going on in a lot of the, the Muslim world, because what happened specifically with Iraq is uh, the majority of the population is Shiite. And they had been held down for a very long time by Saddam Hussein, who was a Sunni, and he was a secular Sunni. So the Shiites were kind of repressed. And now that they're free, they're more free, you have the opposite extreme going into effect. They were repressed for so long that now they've lashed out and become uber-religious in their freedom. And they're doing all this fundamentalist shit like what we just went through. And this is the massive conundrum with the Arab Spring, is that... It's a tug of war between, well, if you bring democracy, in many cases, a lot of the countries are going to be Muslim theocracies, because they will democratically vote in Muslim theocracies. And that's horrible for women, horrible for kids, horrible for order of society. It's a very barbaric culture if you have Sharia law in place. And it might happen that a lot of these places will democratically vote in this Muslim theocracy and Sharia law. And that's a problem. So on the one hand, you have freedom, which would lead to that. And on the other hand, you have these secular strongmen that are dictators that maintain order and they protect women more and they protect kids more, but you're also repressing a democratic will. So it's this big tug of war between what do you do? What's the right answer? Should they go for the all-out freedom that might lead to chaos? Or, sh or does it make sense in some cases to support the secular dictator because they provide a more orderly system that protects women more and some other things more? It's an interesting question, and I think it varies place to place. There's no, there's no easy answer. It's a very nuanced thing, no matter what your position is on it. But what we can all agree on is, this bill is beyond grotesque. <laughs>